Hi, I'm Girish. Let's talk back. Today we are going to talk about the uh, impact of VAT on the various departments in the organization. Okay, there is a normal uh, misconception that VAT is something that is only applicable for the finance and the IT function. However, the as we understand, the VAT has got an impact on all the departments. Uh, so we'll just run through the various department and see what is the impact as such. Uh, primarily when we talk of the sales function, obviously the sales for department needs to look at when they are negotiating with the customers, the contracts or when they are basically getting the purchase orders from the customers. Okay. Also they basically need to ensure that the prices that they are quoting are exclusive of VAT. When we talk of the purchase department function, uh, what they need to ensure is that A, they need to understand whether the supplier is registered and if he's registered, do they have the TRN references. Also the invoice formats from the supplier, they need to basically ensure that that is following the VAT regime. When we come to the HR function, we understand that salaries are generally out of the scope of VAT. However, uh, when we talk of employee related benefits, whether there is long service awards, whether there are you know staff functions or basically they, were, they have the performance related schemes and they give out prizes, those uh, basically expenses, the input VAT may not be claimable. Primarily IT function has a very key role to pay in terms of the VAT implementation. Okay, They need to ensure that all the uh, systems in the organization are basically catered for VAT and they are capturing all the required details so that the VAT returns are, you know, basically facilitated. When it comes, of course, to the finance function, it is the backbone of the uh, VAT implementation and compliance, right? So the finance function obviously would be involved in ensuring that the controls are in place when we talk about the VAT implementation. Similarly, uh, when it comes to the uh, regular VAT transactions, the finance department has to ensure that where output VAT has to be charged, all those transactions are properly recorded. Similarly, where we are taking the input VAT, obviously the invoices have to be in the right format. And of course, the last bit of it is in terms of the filing of the VAT returns, which they need to ensure that they are being compliance with the law. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to learn more about VAT in Omar.